Uh, this is Jay Silva reporting at the Winter Blast Press Conference. So can you go over what's different about the festival this year? Well, yeah, the, our name. We're going to be the Motown Winter Blast here this year. We're going to celebrate uh, Motown heritage and have our bands play more Motown songs than ever. And, and it's uh, in honor of the two anniversaries of Motown Records and the Motown uh, Historical Museum. Oh. So, um, so is it going to be free admission still? Or? Well, we're asking, actually asking for people to have a donated admission where they bring a, an article of clothing or a can of food or a book to support our Break the Ice on the Cycle of Poverty uh, program, which is new. We're working with Matrix Services and the Rotary Club and hopefully can collect some uh, important items for those in need. And one other new item we're doing is we're going to bring snowmaking back. We're going to have snow hills and snowshoeing and we're glad that Shanty Creek Resorts is donating uh, snowmaking equipment for us. So you're going to have the same amount of bands, the same amount of music and all that? Yep, we'll have two uh, music stages going and then we'll have a kids stage that turns into an electronic music stage at night. So we'll, uh, we'll have a lot of uh, great sounds throughout the weekend and we're excited about it. As far as the food goes, there are going to be a lot of different food booths and everything? We hope to. We hope to be up to 10 restaurants this year. Our food uh, slacked back a little um, in 2009, and, and we're going to be reaching out to restaurants, and hopefully we can have a, a nice food program this year. So, let's see. Anything else you'd like to mention about the Winter Blast so sure. far? Sure. There's just so much going on that weekend. There's free skating in Campus Marshes Park. There's ice sculptures. There's places to warm up in our DT Energy comfort zones. There's three entertainment stages. There's marshmallow roasting, uh, snowshoeing, and it's just a, a great time to get together with the family and in the middle of winter in Detroit. Um, I, I think it's... Um it's a good it's a good move because uh, when when I didn't live here, for example, I mean I knew all about Motown based on the history, uh, uh, both of the automobile as well as the music, and so we really are enlarging this to be something more than Detroit, and, and I think that's a positive. You were saying earlier about how important Winter Blast is, but you didn't think because of the unemployment this should maybe carry on. How important is Winter Blast to Detroit? Especially at these times. Well, I think it sends the message uh, that even though times are hard, uh, this is a festive time of the year and uh, this is a festive occasion. So the more people that we can get out downtown to uh, enjoy each other, to enjoy what this is all about, I think is a real positive. So I'm looking forward to it. So what do you think about the Winter Blast and what it means for the city and everything? Well, first of all, they changed it to the Motown Blast, so uh, we're, we're excited about that. And I think uh, it means uh, it's a great continuation. I mean, we're fortunate. We have some great events in the wintertime. That's usually when a lot of restaurants are struggling and, and having a difficult time. You start with the International Auto Show that is in January, and then it's going to carry over, and the activity you're going to see come now with uh, the Motown Blast. It's good for the restaurants. It's good for the region. It generates activity, and it gives people a, a comfort to uh, keep engaging and to come downtown. What's new about it, different about it this year that you know of? Well, it's definitely, uh, you're seeing more activity with the uh, snowmaking ability. It's going to be even more family oriented. I know the kids uh, uh, look forward to that. And it's one that, uh, it's a good time for the family, and it's one that doesn't really uh, cost them uh, very much money. So what do you think about the Winter Blast this year since you're newly elected uh, councilman? Yeah. Well, you know, I'm excited as a Detroiter um, because every year that we've had Winter Blast, uh, I've been here, I have ice skated, uh, probably very poorly, but uh, happily seeing all of Metro Detroit down here enjoying what we do best, and that's provide uh, family fun, um, to uh, provide an opportunity for people to maybe see downtown uh, in a way they've never seen it. Or, you know, there are a lot of people who, you know, for whatever reason, don't come down. It's too long of a drive, it's, it's cumbersome to park, or they normally come for a specific event like a ball game and then go right back so it's nice to have an event where you can walk around and see new stuff see what else is down here so I'm really excited about that part so in, this, in this economy it would have been easy to just fold the tent to borrow a, a right phrase. it's it listen it is uh, it's tough if you are a sponsor uh, your dollars are dwindling you're looking at your own bottom line so to donate money to something like this uh, is um, a wonderful commitment to family and to Detroit, to Motown, uh, because you know we, we really want to uh, celebrate uh, the 
the fun in Detroit more often. So it's nice being able to do it in the winter time. You know, like we, because after that, that was brilliant for Super Bowl. And so the fact that we have maintained that every year since Super Bowl shows that this community wants and thirsts for more fun downtown. Especially now, free ice skating. I mean, you can't beat that. <laughs> it, it, it's it's a temporary good feeling. Though. Yes, it is. And, and how does it help work in do. the yeah? How does it help in the long term? Mm -hmm. It's a good it's a good first start because there may be families uh, who haven't been here in a long time, um, and so what it is, it gives us uh, that many more people with a buy-in to know that there's some um, some good things coming. I hope that the people who come here are already encouraged by the new leadership we have in the city. And I hope that they will give Detroit a chance um, beyond Winter Blast um, and feel comfortable bringing their families back when the, all the snow m melts and uh, when they come back in the springtime and have fun in Campus Marshalls Park watching movies and, you know, and throwing the frisbee with the dog and, and, and eating at restaurants and, and coming down and to the riverfront, coming down to Hart Plaza, Belle Isle. I mean, it's, uh, we have a wonderful city and a lot to offer. And so Winter Blast is just one of the, one of the things that I'm very proud of because John works so hard, uh, but it's all about family. It's about family fun and people from all over Southeast Michigan. This is going to be a little bit different for you. Normally you're covering it, and now you're actually going to be attending it. Right, I'll be cutting ribbons and stuff and, and, you know, and waving instead of uh, sticking a microphone in somebody's face. But, but honestly, this is, this is really where I should be right now on this side of the camera uh, because I've always wanted to be a cheerleader for Detroit. And when you're a journalist, you have to be neutral. But I want to be the cheerleader. I want to say, hey, this is my city. This is your city. This is our city. Now let's have a good time and go tell somebody about it. That's right. So how many times have you been to the Winter Blast? Uh, every year since then. So I guess this is what, fifth, five or six? This is my, uh, what was it, 03 when it started? When was the Super Bowl here? 03 or 02? Winter Blast? Yes. 04. 04, okay. Right, so this is my fifth one. Anything else to mention on it? No, uh, other than that, uh, I just want people to have a good time and to realize that, that Winter Blast is only one of the many things we do well. I mean, we have some amazing museums. When I tell you that the DIA and the Charles H. Wright are world-class museums, they really are. And our Children's Museum and our, you know, the J Detroit Historical, I mean, so many things that we have. That fan Our Science Center, my goodness! That Science Center is amazing. So uh, just come down and, and, and you can reserve one of those things. Just, just do that one thing on a Saturday. Just stay there all day and go eat at a restaurant and have a good time and then come back. And you'll see that you're going to spend a lot of your time in downtown.